hey guys it's rob sipek with paperless student in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i organized my notes for my first week of my new semester for my surgery subject so this is in response to uh, some of you guys who've been wondering how i organize myself and how i organize my notes as a paperless student so before we get started though if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe because i release a new video every week and i'm here to make sure that your paperless journey is painless whether you're a paperless student or a professional on this channel i review different productivity applications and i also show you how i study as a paperless student and hopefully this will help you on your own paperless journey I have to say that personally I don't really have like a I don't have a concrete organization protocol that I follow I just have principles that I follow and I think these principles help to keep everything in perspective instead of having like a rule that this is what I do I just have a general idea of what I need to do for me to be organized I don't know if that makes any sense so that said I'm gonna show you guys how I will be organizing my notes for different classes because depending on the class and how demanding it is I have a different way of organizing my notes depending on how much time I have to you know study and all the other things that I'll be having I'll be needing to do simultaneously so because of that I will be showing you guys different ways that I organize my notes and different ways that I approach organizing myself on my iPad and hopefully from all of those you guys can pick you can each pick which one works for you and which one you think is great my principles are basically based on what applications I need so basically I need five applications to be organized so the first one is a cloud service where i put all my lecture materials that i receive from my professors and for this i'm currently using google drive you can use anything that you want you can use dropbox and icloud secondly i have a pdf editor or an annotating application and for this my main current pdf editor at the moment is liquid text and i will show you guys why i chose liquid text and why it's really good for what i need to do um the third application i need is an application that i use for taking my rough notes for this i use notability the fourth application that i need is an application to write my um, organized notes and so for that i use notes always and then the last application i needed the fifth one is a file manager to store my finished notes for this subject though i only used the first three i use google drive i use liquid text and notability if you're interested in these applications i have done full reviews of all of the main applications that i'm using that i'm currently using for my surgery class and i will link the videos in the description down below so that you can check them out at the time i'm recording this video i've already finished doing my surgery so i'm just going to show you guys how i organized my notes for my surgery class so i had my all my notes under this um, surgery so basically what i did is i edited all my notes in this workspace so i will show you guys how many notes i have i have all of these notes and textbooks in one place so this was really good and really helped me save a lot of space instead of duplicating um the textbooks especially because like the notes i don't usually duplicate the notes but the textbooks i tend to need the textbooks for all of these topics so with this setup it not only saves space on my ipad but it also allows me to be able to have all the topics all the topics that i studied for this subject they're all in one place i'm still to rename all of them so i know what topics each document is supposed to be and i also added another note well these are notes that i did previously from a subject that i studied before and i needed some information from here to compare with the new information that i'm getting this is basically how i organize my notes so i tried to record some videos for you guys while i was preparing for my class for one of my first classes and i decided to just record so you guys see how i prepare for the classes and why i decided to choose that setup for preparing for my classes but unfortunately i discovered that recording more than six hours of ipad screening on my laptop causes my laptop to crash so lesson learned i had some recordings done on my ipad too so those are the notes that i'm currently showing you guys i have liquid text on the right and notability on the left so thank god that i actually decided to use my laptop and my ipad to record the same study session otherwise i would have nothing to show you guys anyway so surgery is a very complicated subject and i always find that I always found that there's always some information that I can't get when I'm preparing for class and so my professor's comments and questions are really important to help me get a full picture of what I need to know and that's why I chose 
notability notability is just perfect for this so basically my study sessions involved reading and jotting i hardly remember anything that i read without actually writing it down and if i am to remember it i would need to read it over and over again and that just takes so much effort so i was using different colors for emphasis and different symbols abbreviations you know to maximize on my study time and searching some definitions on google my professors love definitions and it's really um it's important that i get them right so you know when the lecture material doesn't have definitions i just you know raise a brow like really these recordings didn't actually involve include the time when i was you know reading a paragraph because before i write anything i need to read the paragraph so i know exactly what the paragraph is talking about so i know how i'm going to write my notes and how what kind of information i want to get out of it it also my study sessions also involved video watching on youtube mostly um different topics but most of the stuff that i was studying was very graphic so i don't think you guys will want to see that that's why i didn't record um that part of my study so basically at the end of the week i had all of these rough notes on my ipad for different um subjects for different um, topics that i had to do throughout the subject i didn't have enough time to actually write proper notes i haven't had enough time to write proper notes before class in a very long time so i tend to do proper notes in my own spare time when i have you know a little bit of extra time to get back to my notes and organize them so i don't really have time before the class but i mostly have time after the class so these are still just more notes that i did throughout my study sessions i'm just showing you guys just the kind of rough notes that i managed to create during my study sessions i just thought this might be interesting for some of you guys to have you know a rough idea of what i what i have during my study sessions and everything so yeah these are basically just the rough notes that i then use later on to write my proper notes that i then archive this is probably the end of this video because i think i've said a lot of the things that i need to say concerning how i study and how i organize myself this is the end of the video so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to know more about my study and how i work and all of this just let me know leave a comment down below you know let me know what, how you study and what you think about this study setup but for those of you guys that are just enjoying to just watch this i don't know what to call this well for those of you that are just enjoying to watch me write this on the screen then you can stick around because i think the video is just gonna be long i'm not gonna cut anything out of this video but maybe occasionally i will talk about a few things and explain some things that i'm doing and why i'm doing them so most of you are probably wondering why I didn't use liquid text to annotate my PDFs, which is something that I usually do. And I have actually done this for quite a lot of subjects. And the main reason is that liquid text is very limiting as to the tools that I can use. And sometimes, yeah, I am writing rough notes, but sometimes I just want to make them neater. Liquid text doesn't have a lot of tools, like especially underlining and all of that. And I found sometimes I need them, not always, but occasionally they come in handy. Uh, another problem is that it doesn't you to select sections so like for example in notability if i decide that i need more space a little bit above or i need to um, change something then i can just quickly you know select it and move it around i can't do that in liquid text and i found that very limiting a lot of the times I'm currently doing my second subject now for this semester and I am still using this method. This method is working really great and I like it. So I don't think I'm going to be changing it anytime soon. So yeah, if there is anything interesting that comes up, I will explain it. But for now, I think this is pretty much it.
Basically, by the time I got to this stage, I was tired of writing. My hand was just tired and I was probably just tired of sitting, probably changed. You guys can see my handwriting is just getting messier and uglier. Um, that's because I probably changed the way I was sitting. And because of that, you know, obviously that would affect the way I write. So, yeah, but I got the work and information, you know in my head so i feel like every time i'm studying and then i have to write this down it's like i feel like i'm writing it on my brain and it doesn't really require much effort for me to remember how like to remember what i read and i can always go back and it just makes sense to me so that's why i i have to write everything that i'm studying because i find i find out that once i've written it down it's very easy for me to find it it's very easy for me to understand it And then I looked up a few things online. I looked up some um, diagrams. I don't know about you guys, but I really study well with diagrams. So I always need to see what I'm studying for the most part. So um, for this subject, I didn't really need to do a lot of diagrams um, because obviously these are not like the proper notes. So most of the stuff I just relied on just looking at the images and getting a rough idea of what I'm talking about. But since for this particular study session these were mostly procedures and i needed to watch videos for that and not just you know look at images images wouldn't be enough so like i said i didn't record the videos because it's surgical procedures and i don't think you guys want to see that so because of that i don't really have a lot of photos um in my notes at the moment as you guys can see i didn't really have any notes um so that's because i um you know it's because i i didn't need them um for this session i mostly needed videos to demonstrate what it is that i was doing so i would like study for a little while and then when i get tired i'll stop and then i'll watch a video to you know just know exactly what i'm talking about what i've just read and that really helped so yeah for the rest of the study session i was just really really um lazy and my hand was just killing me this was a lot of pages to study i don't even remember how many pages it was but it was just pages and pages of just notes handwriting the tiniest handwriting you can um find so it was really a lot of information to take in and it got boring at some point it was more like you know the theory of surgery and that's it wasn't really theory because i mean it was about procedures but you need to know the theory before you can you know get into doing the procedures so yeah my handwriting is still getting uglier and you know don't judge me guys i have my moments and this is just not one of them so this is all guys about how i organized myself for my surgery classes and how i studied for them to prepare for class and everything and i hope you guys found this video useful if you liked it give it a thumbs up um, let me know what you guys think and let me know how you guys are getting organized and i will see you guys in the next video bye